YTPC, good morning. Ghost Cobb is here with a pipe, a cup of mud, and a tobacco review. What tobacco are we doing today, Ghost Cobb? Well, that's a mighty fine question. Mm -hmm. This is take two, so I'm pretty low in the bowl here. Uh, some knucklehead decided to start mowing the grass just as I pushed record, so. I'm smoking my Mr. Brog, Kentucky number 43, gifted to me by my good friend Bull. I love this little pipe. It's very nice. And in it, Peter Stokeby's Navy Flake. Luxury Navy Flake. And it is luxury. It is a great tobacco. It's a very, very nice vapor. So it is. <laughs> now, let's just get right on down to brass tacks, shall we? It is a vapor, so the only contents in it are Virginia and Perique. Some have said there are rum toppings. I, I don't know if I quite buy into that. But it is a really nice flake there, as you can see. Now, there's a couple of flakes there. There's one flake, so it's really nice. The great thing about this is there's two ways you can pack this in your pipe. You can rub it out, as I do, or you can fold, tuck, and stuff. And then just rub your fingers over the top of your bowl and loosen some of it up so it's easier to get your pipe lit. Um, moisture content, it is great. I like it. It's good. It's right on. Uh, your tin note, or your jar note, because there is no such thing as a tin with Peter Stokeby's. I get the grass, um, a fruitiness. And like a little bit of hay, but it's more grassy. It's more grassy and fruitiness um, than anything else with that. Uh, room note, it, it, it's tolerable. Um, Mrs. Cobb would much rather sit out here when I smoke a pipe of a vapor or a Virginia, or a um, aromatic than an English blend. She does not like the room note of an English blend. And unfortunately, folks, English blends are my favorite. But it is what it is. It is a medium body tobacco. Um, I would say medium on the nicotine. Of course, that does depend on your sensitivity to nicotine. Some may say they don't notice it at all. Some may say, whoa, that's too much. Um, it all really depends on your nicotine sensitivity. Uh, but it is a medium nicotine, I would say. I am using my Ghost Cobb Uncle Butter collaboration tamper. The taste on it, when I first lit it, it was all grass. It was very grassy, very Virginia-y. Um, the Perique really wasn't even there. Um, there was a touch of fruitiness. So that, you know, I guess may have been some of the Perique trying to come through. But um, 
the grass was the star of the show when I first lit the pipe. Then as I got her going, I'm still getting that grassiness, it's still the star of the show. Um, I got a little bit of fruitiness, not very much, more of it like on a uh, retro hail, and uh, some sweetness to it. And that is odd, because the sweetness, it wasn't like a huge sweetness, like you could really tell it was there. I didn't really genuinely know it was there until I got about three quarters of the way down in the bowl. Because as I got further into the bowl, the tobacco got sweeter. I, it, it was weird, but um, that's a true story on my part, my opinion. Um, you may not experience it, but that's what I'm experiencing. Grass and still is still the star of the show. But it is grassy, a touch of fruitiness, and some sweetness. Um, really good tobacco. If you are not sure if you're a real big Virginia fan getting started, or you're kind of afraid to taste Perique, folks, Luxury, Luxury Navy Flake by Peter Stockabees is a good blend for you to try because it'll give you a little bit of each. Um, it's not going to overwhelm you with Virginia, and I don't think it's going to overwhelm you with the Perique side of it. So um, I think that's a good blend for somebody who's really trying to figure out their tastes and stuff like that. It's there. Um, it's a smooth blend. It's uh, a creamy blend. I like it. Um, would I suggest you buy it? Absolutely. Um, I would suggest you buy at least eight ounces. Keep like an ounce or two out to smoke now. Put the rest away. Um, it gets better in age. I can promise you it gets better in age. I have some uh, uh, bullseye flake that's been aging for about a year now. And I have another drawer that I smoke out of, but I smoke very little out of it. Sometimes I actually just reach in and I'll just pull a couple out and put them in a baggie because I want them all to kind of age better for me because they get better too. Um, the Bullseye Flake is sweet because it's got that little bit of Cavendish in it, which adds a nice little touch to it. So um, that's for another day. So would I recommend it? Yes, absolutely. Um, it's a fantastic uh, blend. Definitely worth the try. You buy it in bulk. It's cheaper that way. It's great. Definitely worth the shot. A couple shout outs today. For my newbies, my people that are under 100 subs, I would like to give a shout out to Cowboy Piper and Smokey Mo. Cowboy Piper and Smokey Mo. Those are my two guys, two sub subscribers that are under 100 subs that are well deserving of a sub. Go check them out. My veteran shout outs will go to as follows. Cane Rod Piper. Cane Rod Piper. Bryce Parker. Alex George, good day, mate, and Mr. Toad. Um, that's right, folks. My vet, my veteran shout-outs are Cane Rod Piper, Bryce Parker. Bryce, thank you for your service, brother. I deeply appreciate it. Alex George from the land down under, and Mr. Toad. Guys, if you've already subbed to these guys. That's awesome. I appreciate it. And I know these guys and gals do too. But if you've already subbed to them, go one step further. If you haven't watched their channel in a while and I just mentioned them, go to their channel, watch a video, and leave a nice comment for them. You know, folks, it doesn't just stop at shout outs. Nice comments are a wonderful thing to come home to. Um, they really are. I really love going to my YouTube and seeing nice comments left there for them. So, 
you know, if you've already subbed to them, look them back up and give them a nice comment on one of their videos. And um, if you just stopped in for this, for the simple fact that you wanted to see the review, thank you. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to stop in the old porch, the old side porch with old Ghost Cobb and uh, chew on a pipe together. I appreciate it. If um, you like what you saw, hit that subscribe button down below. And um, if you are one that has your settings to where I won't know you subscribed, leave a comment. So that way I know you're there and I can look you back up and return the sub or add you to my shout out list. Um, I don't mind. I love it. Dude, I got a list of people front and back. I've got everything pre-planned. When I do my reviews, I do notes, and then I do shout outs. So um, I love shouting out. I love sharing the love. You know, the YTPC is a place of positivity, and um, I really love it here. Uh, thank you all for everything that you've done. It means so much to me and my family. Um, you have brightened my days on days that I have so much pain that it's hard to bear. And uh, for that, I can never repay you enough. So um, thank you all so much. So guys, until we can get together, pack that pipe, or light a great cigar, as it says right here on my Ghost Cobb UB collaboration tamper, let all that you do be done out of love. Y'all take care and God bless.